Hello everyone. Uh, I hope that uh, all is well. I just want us to continue with our current unit, which is using mathematics to make financial decisions. So let's make sure that guys we view the videos so that everything will be well understood. Uh, so far, I think we, I think we are, we are okay. And now I just want us to continue with uh, a section called the importance or the importance of business cal calculations. Uh, so we need to make sure that we understand uh, some of the business calculations. So without wasting time, let's go through the theory for now. You know that uh, in business, uh, the main aim of most businesses is to make profit. So that's why it is important for you to make sure that when you buy goods for resale, make sure that every cost which has been incurred in the process of buying that particular product is incorporated in your cost. Obviously, it will depend whether you are in a retail industry or whether you are in a manufacturing industry. So you need to be able to know how to calculate the cost price. Cost price are the purchase cost, are like the acquisition cost. So when you go and buy goods and they charge you that particular amount, that price is called cost price. Now, as you can see here, um, the purchase cost, uh, I said uh, the cost price, the purchase cost, if the product was bought for resale because sometimes we don't manufacture. Uh, remember, sometimes we, we, we buy in order for us to, to resell. So we need to make sure that we understand how to incorporate those costs. But if you are in a, a, a manufacturing environment, like a factory, remember a factory don't buy goods to resell. They buy the materials in order for them to be able Produce. In other words, the main aim here is to convert those uh, materials into a final product, which will end up being sold to the customers. But in the process of manufacturing, these are the costs which we incur. For example, you need to have material, uh, you need to have labor, people must come and work for you. Uh, you need to incur some manufacturing overheads, for example, electricity. We need electricity for us to be able to manufacture. So all those costs added together, they are called what? Manufacturing costs. So in a, a manufacturing concern, it means that the manufacturing cost will act as the cost price of that particular business. So you must know whether you are in a retail, in a retail, in other words, you're gonna go and buy that particular inventory. It means the cost of inventory, that is the purchase cost. But if I produce, all the manufacturing costs will form part of what of the cost price. Remember, some businesses are registered for VET. We call them VET vendors. So make sure that the cost prices are excluding VET, unless if VET cannot be claimed from SARS. Okay. So if let's say for example you buy goods for fifty thousand, and they charge you VET uh, let's say of say ten thousand, just for an example. So that 10,000, remember, is claimable from SARS. So you need to exclude it from your cost price. But if that particular product uh, is not claimable for tax. Uh, it means that you must not exclude what? VET. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm just saying you must make sure that you know that the cost prices must exclude VET. Now, remember, if you are in business, your main aim is to make profit. It means at the moment, you need to mark up the cost price. So if you bought something for 50 rands, you cannot sell it for 50 rands. Remember, you're not running a charity organization here. This is for a profit-making organization. So you need to make sure that you mark up the cost price so that you can gain. So in other words, a uh, markup is like the a, a, the profit that you are going to make on that particular product. That's why I say the amount added to the cost price in order to make what? A profit. So it can be in the form of what? Of percentage. You will see when we go through the calculations, when we calculate the markup, we need to use what? 
20, uh, let's say a calculation uh, percentage, for example, here is 25%, but a question can give you any other uh, percentage. Why do we have to mark up this product? Is because we need to know for how much must we sell. So before we sell to the customers, we need to make sure that we marked up. Otherwise, we are, we are going to end up making losses. So in other words, selling price consists of cost price plus markup. So in a nutshell, cost price plus markup is equal to the selling price. Okay, so these are the calculations that we're going to adhere to. So make sure that you understand the theory. And again, please, for more information, refer to the book. As you can see, this unit is based on uh, page uh, 147 to 182. Uh, now let's just look at this example just to check if we understand or not. So here I've got a lock. They manufacture tables. During the period, 20 tables were manufactured. The following costs were incurred. Okay, so this is the cost of producing 20 tables. This is the total cost. So to produce 20 tables, we incurred material cost of how much? Of 10,000. And then we had to pay our workers how much? 20,000. And the manufacturing overheads, things like uh, electricity, maybe rent, you know, etc. We incurred a total of 5,000. Remember again, if you the question says you must deal with the, uh, the the per units, in other words, units. So for for one unit, you were supposed to say each and every item here divide by what by units. So if I want to know the material cost of one table, I'll say ten thousand divided by twenty. If I'll say uh, by twenty thousand divided by twenty manufacturing overheads, I'll say five thousand divided by twenty. But the question will always tell you whether they want. Uh, the cost per unit or just total cost but for this question everything is based on what on total cost so don't worry about converting these items to per unit okay the question says the goods are marked up at 30 percent on cost in other words remember like i explained from the previous page so it means the markup for this business is how many percent 30 percent so the requirement says we need to calculate the cost price uh, and thereafter the profit amount and thereafter the selling price remember firstly for the cost price if you remember very well when it comes to the cost price the cost price it depends whether i'm dealing with a manufacturing concern or whether i'm in a retail space so if i'm in a manufacturing concern it means the cost price will consist of the costs which are incurred in the process of producing those particular uh, tables. So firstly, I must look at the material cost. How much are the material costs? As you can see here, how much? 10,000. So it means the material cost will be 10,000. Labor cost, 20,000. Manufacturing overheads, uh, 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 sorry, it's, uh, I think uh, here, I think uh, I made a mistake here. This was supposed to be uh, 50,000. So let me quickly change this, guys. So this was supposed to be uh, 50,000. Uh, these are just my costs. And then obviously, I'm going to go back and just change it for you quickly. Uh, it must be 50,000. Uh, let me go back here and put uh, 50,000. It's just an error. Uh, yes, I'm going to go back to the calculations. Uh, sorry about that. It's just that I missed zero, you know, during this lockdown, sometimes things. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly go uh, to the question. So, we have got material cost of 10,000, and we have got labor cost of 20,000, and I've got the manufacturing uh, overheads of how much? Of 50,000. And then, all in all, they are how much? 80,000. So, the cost price is 80,000 for producing. 20 tables so if the question was, was in the form of uh, the cost of one table i was supposed to take this eighty thousand and divide by 20 or i can divide everything by 20 here so that when i add i'll get the same answer uh, as west as uh, i say eighty thousand divide by 20 okay now secondly they say the profit so we need to make sure that we calculate the profit amount remember the profit amount will depend on the markup so in this case how much is the markup uh, the markup is 
30% uh, on cost. So meaning I'm gonna mark up what? This 80,000, we mark up the cost to get the selling price. So here I need the profit. So how will I do that? I'll take the 80,000 and I multiply it by what? 30%, remember 30% is the same as 30 over 100 and I get 24,000. Just double check the calculations there. This is the profit that I make. I'm gonna make, you know, I'm gonna make this profit. So now they're asking for selling price amount. Remember the full cost price amount plus the profit or the markup amount will give us what? The selling price. So therefore, uh, my selling price will be 80,000 plus what? 24,000, which is 104,000. So I'm just showing this in a basic level. Remember this is financial mathematics. So these are the basic levels. You will see by the time when you progress, maybe with, with your accounting course, and let's say you are doing your uh, BCom, let's say you are doing your certificate in theory of accounting, like the CTA, uh, you will see that the calculations can be a little bit advanced. But this one is for financial mathematics. So we are at a basic level, okay? So this is how to calculate uh, the selling, uh, the cost price, the profit, and the selling price. Now let's continue. Uh, sometimes you know that we do mark down goods. No, that's why sometimes they are specials. You know, in a particular outlet at Sylvester, a CC in cooperation. There, you know, they they mark down. There's a sale, sale, sale. Meaning we mark down uh, the goods so that we can sell them at a lesser price. There can be many reasons why. Maybe it's because sometimes you can find that maybe the expiry date is, uh, is, is about to approach us. And then maybe sometimes, you know, the goods are not selling as expected. There may be various reasons, or maybe we want to close the outlet, you know. So now sometimes we mark down, okay? Sometimes we give the cash discounts. You know that sometimes when we uh, customers buy from us and then, you know, sometimes you can grant them cash discount so that they can buy. And sometimes, you know, even the customers may negotiate. So we give them cash discount when we are trying to transact with the customers, okay? And you've got the settlement discount. These discounts are given to people who bought from us on credit and they've got accounts with us. For us to encourage them to pay on time, uh, we we sometimes give them what we call the settlement discounts. Can you see? Because if they don't pay on time, they will end up not paying. And if they don't pay, it becomes a bad debt. And a bad debt affects the success of the business. Okay. So these are the various ways of what? Of uh, uh, reducing the selling prices. But again, by the time we when we calculate, the way to calculate is the same because obviously both is three items or at the end of the day. We, we, we are going to decrease the selling price at the end of the day, okay? So again, I just want us to look at this example for markdown because if I can show you the markdown, it means again, you're going to be able to know how to calculate the discounts, okay? So here we've got a business, a lockdown company, which manufactures tables and they sell, the selling price for each table is 5,200. But they decided to mark down their, uh, their selling price by how much? By 20%. Please calculate the markdown amount. Okay, so it means this is how we calculate uh, the markdown amount. Can you see the markdown? So, in other words, I want the amount that has been will be received after selling. As you can see here, I took 5200 times 20% and I get 1040. Thereafter, 5200 less 1040 and i will sell the goods for 4160. this is the marked down okay but 1040 is the markdown remember the difference between the markdown and the marked down so so this is the amount that i'm gonna sell my products for okay so guys make sure that you study this not that difficult easy but capitalize on this please also go through the questions in your textbook thank you very much for that and then make sure that you practice practice makes perfect remember the only way to understand the financial mathematics is to do financial mathematics please make sure that you study hard and then all will be well soon
Again, I'm going to meet you by the time when we discuss again online. Thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated.